What's good, YouTube, man? Welcome back to the channel, man. Um, the most listened channel on YouTube. I know I've been gone for two days. Um, I'm sorry for that. You know, i just been out the work. It's be, it be late, and I'd be tired. Um, but I'm going to start back on my daily routine. You know what I'm saying? So we can hit 1K quicker. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said last week, which is it's Thursday today, right? Yep, Thursday. Last week, I reacted to a scary animated story. And I said we're going to do this every Thursday. We're going to call it Scary Story Thursday. So, today's Thursday. So, hold on. Today's Thursday, right? So, y'all already know what we can do. Like a scary story. Now, this one is called Four Short Scary Story. Horror Animations Volume One. Um, if you guys you know find some interesting, um, scary animated stories, you know, let me know. Send them to me. Send me the link, and we can we can react to it every Thursday. So this is part two, scary story, st scary story Thursday. Um, so yeah, let's get to it, man, because I don't want to hold y'all up no more. I know y'all want to watch this, so let's go. All right, man, let's get. A few years back, when I still lived with my parents, I used to stay in the room right next to my younger sisters. Sometimes while I was asleep, I would be awoken by the sound of someone coming into my room. When I would open my eyes, I would see my four-year-old sister just staring at me, in silence. After realizing it's only her, I would calm myself down and lead her back to her bed. I wasn't the only family member this happened to, and in the morning my sister would never remember it happened. Most of the time, we would find her by the stairs on our way to the bathroom. My parents worried about her falling down, so they put a child gate in front of the stairs. On one occasion, I remember seeing her standing in front of the gate, and as I approached her, she slowly pointed down the stairs. Being slightly creeped out, I just gently led her back to her room. It wasn't until summer came, and I would stay up later, that I would sometimes hear her talking to herself in the early hours of the morning. I used to think it was a little funny, but on a few occasions it really sounded like a lower voice would respond. I was too much of a chicken to ever check, so I would just decide it was time for bed and try not to think about it. Cool. Luckily, by yeah. the time she turned five, it seemed like she finally grew out of it since we never found her walking around the house again. I still wonder why it always seemed like she was trying to get one of us to lead her downstairs. Eva always lied. It was obvious from the very beginning that she was a compulsive liar. She would spin some off-kilter stories when she had the chance to. It wasn't out of any malicious intent, but rather, she simply couldn't resist telling a lie. Her lies were surreal and often just too ridiculous for others to take seriously. It didn't help that oh, she you was very young, or an age where we I'm dismiss scared. claims as being products of imagination only four years old. Because of these factors, we didn't believe a word that she said to anyone. We didn't believe her when she said that her baby sister turned into a cat at night and purred at her. We didn't believe her when she said that the science teacher was secretly an alien robot. I mean, no, no, and when she said that her best friend wanted her to come play with her underneath her bed, we once again brushed it off. We really should have taken it seriously. But, by the time that we found her bed empty that one morning, it was already too late. I moved into an old farmhouse in October 2015. Okay. It had been kept current until 1989, right down to the burgundy green hearts and apple borders in the middle of the walls. The house sits on a couple of acres, the closest neighbor is a walk away. Great trees, great bushes, love it. But lately, I've noticed weird things. Like 
like how none of the closets have doors. Or how I wake suddenly just as I'm starting to drift off to sleep. Oh no. How tired I am even though I'm in bed by 9 p.m. And can barely get out of bed at 7 a.m. The other really strange thing I've noticed is both my cats have disappeared. And none of the coyotes I hear at night come near the house. Even though I've left the garbage bag outside accidentally. But the biggest thing I've noticed lately is how the hatch to my attic seems to always be open. Though it used to be nailed shut. Couldn't be me. Pack up, we are there. My son went missing two weeks ago. Okay. Like a good parent, I filed a police complaint. I participated in the search efforts, okay. and I was heartbroken okay. when they could not find any trace of him. Okay. I gave up. I asked the cops to give up too. It was hopeless, I said. They did not give up. One week ago, two of the officers turned up at my door triumphant smiles on their faces and standing in front of them was my son they said they found him wandering in the woods beyond the edge of town he looked much worse for wear but otherwise unscathed they left him with me and went back to the station he is not my son he looked like my son spoke like my son and even behaved like my son he settled in with me, but please believe me, he is not my son. So why you Every night me? since that day, I've woken up in the middle of the night in cold sweat. I always see him in the doorway of my room, his body silhouetted by the night light behind him. He always leaves as soon as I wake up. Please, you have to trust me. Whenever he is, he is not my son. Why Can do I get? seem so sure? Because I killed my son two weeks ago and buried him in the forest. Hey friends, if you enjoyed these short illustrative horror stories, be sure to subscribe to Strawberry Nightmare. Her artistic talent and love for horror is brought to life through her work and is definitely worth your time. Wow. They say the best for last. I like the last one. Wow. They got me thinking. Do y'all are y'all thinking about what she just said? She said she killed her son two weeks ago and buried him in the forest. So for one, she got away with murder. Wow, that is crazy. Wow, I'm shook up. But man, like I said, like I said, man, scary story Tuesday. I mean, Thursday. We're gonna make this a weekly thing, man. So if you enjoy scary stuff, man, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, share the video, man. Find some scary stories, like some real, real scary stories, and send them to me. On Instagram. Instagram my name is RBW4 underscore. So do that man. Send me or you can just come in on under the video. I'll see it. But just do that man. Find some find some good stuff for us to watch, man. And we're gonna do this every Thursday. But man, that was a that was a good one, last one. But man, um if you're new to the channel, man, hit that subscribe button, man. Um, right beside and I rolling TV, just hit it. No be part of the family. Come join the family, man, cause we live every day. Um, I love y'all, man. I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow. Um, let me know what y'all wanna see tomorrow. Send me some videos of what y'all wanna see tomorrow, cause sometimes I just be guessing what videos y'all would be interested in, and sometimes they do good, sometimes they don't. But let's, let's just send me some videos y'all wanna see me react to, and I'll do that. Um, that's all I got. Do do see y'all tomorrow.